by Odin's hammer, Thor has arrived. So you guys may notice that I am in a slightly different location. It's simply because I moved. Yes, I moved this weekend, and so I'm in the process of setting up my room. I haven't put up any of my posters yet. So Thor is a very famous Marvel comic that has been around for a very long time. Lots of fans, and to be honest, I don't know that much about it. I have a couple of friends who really know a lot about it, and after the movie, he was just telling me stuff, and I was like, how do you know this? In Thor's realm, he's about to become king. His father, Anthony Hopkins, is the current king. And right before he's about to take the throne, this big event happens that starts a cataclysmic war between them and the Frost Giants, which are these really, really cool bluish things with red eyes that are just really creepy and awesome and great makeup done with those things. And I don't really want to get much into the plot, but what happens eventually is that Thor is banished to Earth, where he meets Natalie Portman's character, Thank goodness, oh my word, ugh. And that works for a lot of comedy because he's like this, you know, god and he's in this realm and he's like, Bring me more of this drink, I like it! Thor's a very enjoyable superhero movie, a very satisfying one. I really thought Chris Hemsworth was great as Thor. He did a very good job. He was funny, likable, Anthony Hopkins is good as his father, Natalie Portman, I just, I always like her. The special effects for Thor were very good. There were a few times when I thought, uh, particularly when Thor was flying, that I thought it could have used some work because uh, uh, there wasn't a lot of fluidity to it, and it didn't look terribly graceful to me. For the most part, the special effects were astounding, very well done, and the makeup on these creatures, these frost giants, was just excellent, and I was so glad that they weren't always just some big old CGI army. They had uh, actual legit actors and makeup and everything. I really enjoyed that. The director, Kenneth Branha, he's made a lot of films, and he's a very good director. However, this is his first foray into Hollywood you know, big Hollywood movies, and I think that that might have hurt the film a little bit because he seems to be a little unsure in regards to fight scenes. They're all enjoyable, but none of them are particularly remarkable. There is one scene in the film that stands out as the best action scene, and it's actually the big opening action scene. All the other action scenes are very enjoyable, but a lot of explosions and kicks and stuff. But nothing terribly remarkable, you know what I mean? And I think a lot of that has to do with the fact that for a large portion of the film, Thor is a human. He doesn't have any of his powers. But uh, it doesn't really hurt the film because the film is so enjoyable. I was really looking forward to this movie. To be honest, it disappointed me just a little bit, but for the most part, I really enjoyed Thor. The 3D was pretty good. However, after the movies, my eyes stung, and I don't think it's because of Thor. I think it's just because of 3D in general. I'm getting very sick of 3D. I enjoyed Thor. Lots of fun, good, witty dialogue, funny moments. I enjoyed Fast Five more, believe it or not, but um, Thor is still a lot of fun, and so I'm going to give it three and a half out of four stars. I wrestled with that rating a lot. I almost gave it three. This is a mild three and a half. I'm going to recommend Thor. Definitely check it out. Woman, make me a sandwich. I want a feast. <sighs>